Yesterday was Monday. I didn't really vlog at all. Um, Nick was off work and we were just kind of having a stressful day trying to get stuff done and just ended up not being a day that I felt like filming. So you didn't miss much. But today I'm headed to the vet right now to take um, a bearded dragon that was surrendered to me, which I have a video about on my animal channel if you want to see that or have seen it. Uh, I will link it for you guys below. But um, Nubs has mites and some things on his body that we don't know what it is. Hopefully it's from mites, hopefully it's not cancer. So I'm taking uh, Nubs to the vet right now. I literally had an appointment for the vet with Piper yesterday and that ended up costing a lot of money. Um, I expected it to be around $100 and it was four times that. So I'm hoping today's vet, vet um, appointment is not as expensive as that. Uh, sometimes it's necessary, but it doesn't make it suck any less that you have to shell out cash. <laughs> I love this mug. <laughs> I just made some raspberry leaf tea. I just got home. It is like already like three o'clock. I stopped at the feed store and they had little baby chickens there. I love little chickens. Um, I would love to have chickens and eat my own chicken eggs. That'd be cool. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I got some hay for the rabbits and the vet doesn't really seem to know what the bumps on nubs uh, is. And if you want to see an update on that, I'll, I'll link you guys, but that's for a different channel. So we're treating as mites and we're going to go from there. But uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my day today. I think I'm going to watch a couple um, pack my hospital bag videos with me because I really need to pack my hospital bag. And now that I've gone through almost all of the gifts that I've received from the baby shower, I feel like I have some more things that I can put in that now. And I kind of know what I need to buy myself and what I don't. So I might do that. I'm just trying to figure out the format I want to do it in. That would be the most pleasurable to watch. So I might watch a few of those for some inspo and, um, oh, my ankles are very swollen, so I just took some more of that tincture. I also was recommended that, it was recommended that I buy um, some sort of cells salts is, is what it's called, and it's like a supplement that you take. So I ordered that, it'll be here tomorrow at 10, um, and we'll see, but I'm gonna put my feet up for a little bit, watch some of these videos, and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Uh, a friend of mine's in town tonight too, so I might go see her. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of just want to sit on my computer and edit right now, but with my ankles with they are, I'm gonna elevate them for a while and drink my raspberry leaf tea and then see where the day takes us. The midwives at the birth center told me to put a pillow under my butt when I put my legs up so that it's not just like a harsh L cutting off circulation or like flow. So, Piper. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna get my computer. Here we go. I've been in your world. Been knocking at your door. You're gonna kill me, dog. That's like how it is going to the bathroom every night. She's like right under my side of the bed. And I have to block her off from sleeping over there because I never know she's there and I get down and then she jolts like this and I'm like, ah! I just got a few things in the mail. I got some some um, pink stork postpartum stool softener gummies and then this is stool softener uh, tea. I plan on taking this one to the birth center with me so that my first poop is less terrifying than I think it will be because I have been the victim of hemorrhoids in my third trimester. Yay. And I want to say it's just hemorrhoid. Like I have one <laughs> um, TMI, but whatever. This is also a three in one postpartum recovery support belt. It had amazing reviews. It was less expensive than some of the other brands. And so I'm a believer that just because something costs more doesn't mean it works better. So I'm gonna be trying this out and I'll be taking this with me as well. I will link you guys to all these things also cause I got these all on Amazon. Here is my pile of baby stuff that, how freaking cute is this? I got this at the shower. Um, this is my pile of baby stuff that I'm going to be washing today. Uh, these are like little swaddlers. They're super cute. All the stuff's pretty much from Amazon, except for some of the really cool, like handmade stuff that we got, um, at the shower, but all of these just need to be washed. I did just purchase 
detergent that has no scent. Let me show this to you guys. I got this on Amazon as well. I got this guy. It has no dyes, no perfumes. Um, I don't know how sensitive baby's skin is going to be. I kind of think that it, <laughs> baby needs to be eased into that kind of stuff. So gonna be using that to wash this stuff right now. And of course, I've shared with you guys in the past, um, well, actually, by the time you're seeing this, I don't know if it'll be out. I have an Amazon favorites coming out soon. If you're peeping these right here, totally worth it. Swabatel everything. I have these laundry bags. Don't you just love how disorganized this cupboard is? It's killing me, but at least those are organized. These um, I got on Amazon too. They're just big mesh bags that you can wash stuff in. So I'm going to be putting stuff in here and I'm going to use this for like smaller stuff like baby socks and stuff like that. So I don't lose them. I want to tell you guys something super creepy. So yesterday Nick was standing right there and I was standing right here and I was looking over here and the dryer was on and what it was on with or what it had in it was this stuff right here and this was for the most part completely dry there was just some edges that were wet so I closed this and this has to be closed all the way to go on or it won't go on so I hear it open and I look over at Nick this thing opened like that much and then it slammed closed and like stopped running obviously and I'm like did a ghost like literally just open the dryer? Because like I have been racking my brain and I can't think of any other explanation as to how that opened because as you can see, it is not super easy to open. Like, so I was like thoroughly creeped out last night and it was very windy outside, but like, Nick was like, maybe something heavy like slammed against it. I'm like, open it right now and see how dry and not heavy everything is in there. And he like did. And he was like, that's weird. And I'm like, it's so bizarre because like, I like saw it open and close. Like I caught it right as it was starting to open and I saw it close and I was just like, <sighs> I don't know. It was just really weird. It was very bizarre. Like that did not open by itself. Like. I don't know, but <laughs> that's never happened before. You know what? The one other time that I did have like a supernatural experience when I was younger was with a f washer. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's bizarre. That's so bizarre. I don't know, man, but that was weird. It was like seeing it happen in front of you. Like almost like if you were staring at a cup sitting on a counter and it just moves and you're like, I just saw that cup move. Like, how could that have happened? So if you guys have any explanations that you think that how that could have happened, you let me know. But until then, it was a ghost. You know what I haven't showed you guys in a minute is what we planted in the previous vlogs. Let me flip you around. Look at everything. Look at them all growing. They're like so big. It's pretty awesome. Good morning. I just came out to cook some breakfast. <laughs> Nick's home this morning and I just realized that he's working on the hood. So I'm not going to be able to make any breakfast. So what I'm going to do is take my hard boiled eggs in my little bowl and make an egg salad sandwich. Also, look how beautiful these flowers are. Look at my like super expensive fancy day. Actually, this is a very expensive vase. Vase. <laughs> These are like so pretty. My friend Allie sent these to us as a congrats for getting married and they smell so good. But like, this is like one of the most beautiful like array of flowers I've ever seen together. Like I love the color scheme. It reminds me of my picture up there that I showed you guys in the last vlog. sound appointment. He's putting up our hood right now. Pretty sweet. 
Let me know if you need anything while I'm out. I'm gonna, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. I love you. I love you. I just pulled up at Blossom Baby and Vista. I'm gonna go in here and get my last 4D ultrasound. So this is gonna be the last one that I do before she's here. <laughs> just came back to the nursery that we were at last week and they're actually open today. So I am getting, I'm sure off actually, I'm gonna get three different types of avocados. So it'll pretty much have like fruit all year round. So she just took me through here and we picked out what looked good. Some of them are flowering right now. So I'm gonna open this and it sounds like she's got some guys to help me load it. Got home. Nick just unloaded the avocado trees over here. He's so fucking strong, I don't know how he did that. This took like two guys at the thing. Um, so I got three different varietals and um, let's see if I can remember what's what. This is, oh, there's a tag, I'll just read it. This is a surprise. And this one produces fruit a different time of year than the Haas over here. And then this one over here is a reed and it produces fruit a different time of the year also. So even though they have all these things, they're not going to produce probably for about a year. Each of these trees is about four years old currently. So this is the hill that we actually want to plant them on. Nick is now making some shelves. Look at the hood. After all this hard work that he uh, put in, putting this up here. Electricity doesn't work. We're not super stoked with the electricians that we got going in here. Wouldn't recommend them. Wouldn't recommend them. Pile of stuff I washed. I'm putting together this rollable bassinet. The side of this thing actually like folds down so that you can push it up against the bed and get to the baby pretty easily. Um, and then Nick's in there making us dinner. What are you making? Uh, I don't know. Show me your mittens. Uh, show me. Show me. <laughs> so cute. Did you get these for me? Huh? Did you get these for me? You got those for me. Yeah, for your house in Cardiff. <laughs> so obsessed with her dad. Don't pick her eye boogers, especially on the couch. So much. Especially on the couch. Where are you gonna put them now? On my shirt. Gross. Alrighty, so it's almost one o'clock. I just went and checked on my avocado trees, our avocado trees, and they're doing good. They haven't fallen over. There was like a little ladybug on one, which was super cute. Our doula is gonna be here in a little bit. Her name is Kim. So I'll film a little bit of that if I can, but I think today she's gonna show us how to swaddle. Hopefully she brought a baby, <laughs> like a fake baby. I was just thinking, I was like, gosh, it'd be really helpful if I had a little fake baby to practice on. Cause I, I mean, I think I know how to change a diaper. like. I've seen a million videos. It looks pretty freaking easy. Dad over here taking tags off stuff. Poor Kim, our lovely doula is all the way on that side of the couch because we have so much shit in between. I'm like, how do you fold these? They're like so little. Actually, she just showed us how to fold. Okay, look, she did bring a fake baby. Remember I was saying, I was like, hopefully she brought a fake baby because I didn't pay that much. I wouldn't pay that much for- I got on a Nordstrom rack. <laughs> I got on a Nordstrom rack. I need to get a sewing machine. I could sew some stuff. So he's a little bit little. I hope the baby that's coming out of my vagina is gonna be a little small. <laughs> I know, I know. I think his head circumference is greater than, no, they're not, she's not coming out like that. <laughs> yeah, let's hope not. No, she, she better not. not. 
No, she can't come out that way. That's <laughs> oh too gosh. wide. Six and a half, this is six and a half pounds. This is supposedly how much baby weighs right now. That's crazy. I'm gonna pounds. have to work out my arms because this is very heavy. <laughs> Hang in there, Kevin. <laughs> we learned some really good stuff from Kim today. Got the car seat put in the car. Got some dinner. Now we're back. Uh, I got these really fun shoe things off Amazon. And Prince Charming's gonna see if my slipper fits. It's to help with the swelling. So these are they're, these were like 80 bucks on Amazon or something. Let's see how well these work. Oh. <laughs> What? Right. You got it right, right? No, I, I just, I feel like the slipper doesn't fit. I mean. <laughs> it's Velcro. I don't, I don't know if you're my Cinderella. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> thank you, oh. thank you. <laughs> what do you think, Joseph? You think they're gonna work? They had good reviews. Let's see, it's less, um... okay, so let's see how this works. Air pressure, low, medium, high, sequence, and hole. I don't know what that means. You want like these bulbs in the tennis? Those are like almost too bright. I think the brightness of them is okay. I just think they're really yellow. Yeah. Like if you hold this camera and film yourself, you're like, t take this and look at yourself in the camera. And so the other night when I did this, it was just those ones. Oh yeah, I look good. So that actually really helped my feet. Um, it looks good. Also, Nick um, rubbed my feet also. That thing, <laughs> that thing works really well. I just paid my taxes and I wanna vomit. Today we are doing our maternity shoot. So we've got a couple, oh shit, it's already 11. We need to eat breakfast. It's already 11 o'clock. Um, and we, 20, 20, I'm trying to like organize this receipt. The like cloud situation on the computer really kind of messes me up sometimes. Cause I have two document folders. One has the cloud with the down arrow and one has just the cloud. Which one am I supposed to use? I can folder for that. <laughs> so, yeah, my friend Melissa's gonna do that for us and we're gonna open a package that we just got. So, so random. So I heard about this, I've heard about this um, diaper bag company called Fawn and now I literally have like six diaper bags, <laughs> which is rad, but. This is probably gonna be the best one though. It's gonna be the best one. Um, so, then the other day, Nick was like, oh, so a buddy of mine like owns like a diaper bag company, you know, and like is willing to send you one. I was like, oh, that's really nice. And then he says, in, or sends me the link to their Instagram page. And I was like, holy shit, this is the diaper bag brand that I've heard of, which I thought was really cool. Um, it's a fire wife that owns it and it's red. Nice. There you go, now your cute face is in it. Dude. Ooh, that's sick. pretty. How sick is this gonna be with that? I like that you can wear it as a backpack. Yeah, it's gonna be super, super hot with these overalls. We need to open the boxes that Tactical Baby Gear sent us because I bet you you have a way more manly diaper bag in there. Oh no, this one's legit. You're gonna use that one? Yeah. You gonna wear it? For sure. Just like your heart. It's super hot. <laughs> Boom. Thanks, Josh and Megan. Is it? Um, rad. Yeah, thank you guys. It's so awesome. Nick put this together last night. I absolutely love this thing. So I bought this because. Not only can you roll it around, it has little locks and stuff, and I love that, but you can add to it as your child grows and buy a new little mattress pad in there, and then other pieces connect in between those two to just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can use it till your kid's like four years old or five years old or something like that. So I thought that that was pretty cool, and I just love how you, easily you can move it because with what we're doing in our house right now, that's super key which is another reason why I got this guy. 
that you can also easily roll around. <laughs> so rolling stuff is super important. Here is my makeup and hair look for the first look. I wasn't really sure what to do with my hair because my roots are so grown out right now. This probably was the last thing I should have done because I'm probably is drawing attention to it. But um, I just want to do something like different because I always have the center part with the hair. So, and it's usually curled or crimped, so, or waved. So I think the second look I'm gonna do like curls and then just do my normal center part. So she's gonna be here any minute and I haven't done a photo shoot where someone else has taken my photos in so long. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, Nick is so funny. I was like, okay, so go get a black V-neck or, um, or a scoop neck. And he comes out with a stack of shirts. <laughs> is like a fake tuxedo shirt with the American flag as like the bow tie. And I'm like, oh dear Lord. Really important side note. I just bought these on Amazon. They go on the bottom of the toilet seat. So when guys pull it up to pee, they see this. I love it. Bring your booty like really close to the edge if you can and use your core to like sit up as straight as you can. And you're gonna be a little bit over to the side for Kristen. Yeah, Me? like they Okay. Either one, both of you. So you're gonna like work together and you're gonna kind of go over her. Finished our shoot a little bit ago. I think we got some good stuff. We were racing with the sunset. Um, we just ate some dinner and now we're gonna get in the hot tub for a little bit. My ankles are pretty swollen and very uh, sore. <laughs> so. Happy Easter. By the time you see this, Easter will have been over by a couple days, but we just went and picked up a dresser. The battery died, let's try this again. <laughs> so we just went and picked up a dresser. It's like a, we got it on um, Facebook Marketplace. I don't really know permanently what I want in here for her, but we just went and got this dresser and it looks really cute. So obviously this whole area of the room is completely a disaster still. Just because of the remodel, we have nowhere else for this stuff to go. So I'm gonna organize this. And as soon as we have some room in the garage, I'm actually gonna move the workout equipment out of here because I'm not gonna be able to use that for a little while anyways. Um, but at least we have a nice area over here for a changing table. And I'm gonna put my little diaper caddy over here. And then I'm gonna put everything else on here and start putting things away in the drawers for her because I haven't had anywhere to put anything. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We're also staining some shelves and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more things over here and then start putting some of the clothes away. I do need to get some drawer organizers, but I'm just gonna try and get it in the drawer so it's not all over our dining room table and all over our couch. So that's the number one goal. Couple things we got from the baby shower. I got a second hatch and I was like, oh, I'm gonna return one. And Nick is like, no, you're not. I love my hatch. So he has adopted the first one and loves it. So he'll be sleeping with that. He <laughs> literally, we have it on a timer. It goes on every night. So I'm gonna put the hatch over here. And then where you guys are actually, the camera is sitting, we're behind that workout equipment. I think I'm gonna put a rocking chair there and a table and put some stuff like this on it. But for now, I'm gonna put this. Also have a wipe warmer. And I'm trying to find, I have one of those like peanut shaped changing tables. It's like rubber on it or whatever for easy cleaning. This is called a Kigaru and it's like soft and easy to wipe down. So this is what I want to use. Taking a little break to shred all this up. I made Piper some homemade food and this is not to supplement, um, sorry, this is not to replace this stuff, but it is uh, going to supplement it. So I pulled up a few really great recipes online and um, made one of them today. The easier ones that I've seen have like ground turkey or ground chicken. 
and it tells you the exact amounts of everything. So I found a few of those that I can link you guys to, but I'm kind of just starting to experiment with this. There is a powder that you can put in your food, that dog food that you make, if you want to like not add it to this and just do this to make sure that they're getting all the vitamins and nutrients and everything that they need. Are you ready for some food? What's this thing? Are you tired? Are you tired girl today? Oh, you look so tired, Pipey. Okay, Pipesy, you ready? Oh, you look so cute. Okay, come on. Okay, sit. You gotta sit. Stay. Stay. Hey, I said to sit. Good girl. Chow time. Oh, Joseph, you want to try some? You might like it. You like weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look what dad's doing to me. Is that good? Did you eat all of it? You're already back inside so soon. Okay, you gonna show me? You gonna show me that you ate all of it? Let's see. <gasps> you ate all of it. What a good girl. She's like, is there more? <laughs> Winning best mom of the day award. I am about to finish it editing a podcast. Um, and then I also need to start writing my thank you cards for gifts for our, um, from our baby shower. So I am going to do that. It's already 6:15. Holy hell. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you again on Thursday. Bye guys.